Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Venus retrograde reading. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. So let's get started. Okay, that just flew out. Judgment, just saying. Judgment, so are we? have we reached a decision <laughs> about a relationship? This is assuming that someone's coming back. I call the reading, we're talking again, now what? Because we got the retrograde and Libra and you know relationships, all that, so. It will, this will cover the six weeks, roughly six weeks, from October 5th until November 16th. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune reversed is the bottom of the deck energy, and we have clarity. All right, so maybe a bad ending to a relationship, or you just feel like the relationship was bad karmically? Just feeling like nothing, like almost like the relationship just didn't have a chance as far as... As far as things outside happening, just like everything constantly delayed, going wrong, no progress, three steps forward, five steps back, that sort of thing. Okay, so we've got Page of Pentacles, Ace of Cups reversed, Queen of Swords reversed, the World upright, and Page of, did I say Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, I did. Page of, Five of Swords reversed. All right, hmm. let's look here. I'm gonna clarify where it makes sense to do so. All right, so we got this page of pentacles. The reason why you're meeting or talking again is because uh, there is, hmm, someone's maybe wanting to, it could be a job opportunity, but maybe they're wanting to provide an offer, or they're wanting to talk about Security, uh, future planning, maybe work. Hmm, hold on a minute. Okay, your partner does not either. They're not feeling the love, or so I think this is about talking about um, divvying up property. Yeah, this is not a new offer. This is about. All right, where do we go from here? As far as like. Um, no, it's not even that. What is this? This is your kid. Your kids. That's what this is. Because the love's not there. And they plan on being... Um, they're probably... Well, they plan on being... A bitch. Just saying. And you need to know... The advice here, the, this in the advice position, um, yeah, this is, a, I think this is a meeting about your kids and their security or what's, what's going to happen in the future for the kids. You know, you, it's, it's like this, uh, sorry, you and I are done, you know, we're over, but what about the kids? We need to talk about the kids. Or if there's no kids involved, it's like, what are we going to do for the future as far as, but why would you be meeting unless there was something to talk about? For the future if it's over and done and there's no love loss here and someone's planning to be a bit cutthroat almost deceitful about something it's a means to an end whatever interaction you're going to have it's a means to an end why would they want to meet you about security uh you know material things i mean this could be about a small accumulation of material resources and whatnot in the relationship that you need to talk about disseminating okay so maybe it's, you know, not an estate or an empire. Okay, fine. But maybe you're meeting to talk about, maybe that's why they're back in the picture, to talk about either kids or to talk about... Sorry, I had to clean my glasses. <laughs> I know it's noisy. Divvying up community resources. They're not... They don't... There's, there's no love... Here, there's either blocked emotions, they blocked it out, and it's just all strictly business at this point, or they have fallen out of love. And they, this right here is makes me think that it's about kids because this is someone who plans to, to do whatever they have to do to get what they want. Okay, and this is a can be a very cold hearted, manipulative, um, just outright bitch of a person, man or woman. But this is what makes me think it's about kids. Could also be this person could also be the same way about any material resources. So, you know, money, community property, things like that. They could also be a bitch about it. So anyway, uh this is definitely 
an ending and there's going to be moving on. You're going to be open to change. It looks like you're going to be amenable. I want to clarify these two right here. I'm going to clarify these two. And also when you meet, there's going to be no emotion involved either. And it just, it's just, it is what it is. We need to talk about this. Definite ending though. This is over and done with. It's just business dealings that you need to, to firm up, tie up here. What's this world? I want to clarify this world here. What's going on there? Okay. Okay, so it's over. It's it was not it was what it was, but it's the cycle's complete. I think you feel pretty straight about it, Aquarius. Um but you need to preserve we got two queens here, let me look at that. I, I feel like your security might take a hit. Reversed work two queens reversed means work i feel like your security you you recognize that it's over um i think part of you feels like okay you don't care if you have to work your tail off you're just happy to be free especially if this was you know this bad relationship here like it was just bad from the start and just oh god you don't this is funny typically this symbolizes like someone feeling kind of insecure or they're just they're not feeling very stable, could be emotionally, but they just feel out of sorts and they just got this nervous energy and they're always working, they're always going, they're, you know, there's an imbalance. They devote all their time to their a project, whether it's their family's a project, whatnot. Anyway, this to me is like, you don't care because you're free. So um, it has definitely ended. I don't think, what I said earlier about your security taking a hit, I don't think you have to worry about that. I don't think you care. I think you're just happy to be working and to be free. And you'll you got nothing better to do but work, so you're like I'm fine with it. Um, but it's it's not that this is an insecure, or that oh my gosh you're you're not going to be secure. Your security's going to get. It's that you could feel that way, or when this is reversed, I generally read it as someone feels that way. It's not true, but they feel that way, and to stave off feeling like they're going to have financial ruin or um, be unstable financially, they work their tail off. This, I think, is you opting to do that. You might, you may need to, but even if you need to, it's secondary to you wanting to just because you can, because you're free and you're like, well, what better thing to do? I just got out of this, so not ready to deal with anybody else. I might as well just work my butt off and try to get some security for my future. And that's what this is, okay? This is breaking free, okay? <laughs> wow. All right, and we've got this Five of Swords at the end that is talking about... Um, just moving on and, and not wanting to fight anymore and not needing to win, not caring. Don't need to, don't need to win this one. Yep. It's all about you. Self-preservation, security for yourself, very alone or very solitary, just worrying about yourself, you and your own, I should say. And it's, it's, there's, when this is upright, this is like a painful separation. You don't want to go, but you're literally leaving with the clothes on your back. You're just, you're out, you know? This is like the opposite of that. It just kind of doesn't land anywhere, and you just kind of start walking. It kind of reminds me of Forrest Gump, you know, where he just starts running. <laughs> this is like that, and it's, there's no real emotion to this. It's just like, well, I'd just rather be working and I'm just only solely going to worry about myself now. The emotional part is like over, I think. I think this is just about things getting sorted and then you're like, yes, it gets to be about me and my security now and I don't have to deal with this person anymore. If I do, it's just going to be sort of this nonchalant, like just business. It's just going to be business. There's going to be no emotion attached to it when I, I am moving on and it's just, that's what it is. That's it. So Aquarius, this is about you meeting up again with your ex to talk about business, either business regarding the kids or business regarding dissemination of community property. Either way, you're going to be throwing yourself into work because you can, and you really don't care about a relationship right now. And you certainly are, are pretty dumb with this one. I think you kind of know, uh, 
already what this person is capable of and yet it doesn't phase you because you feel pretty secure um, now that you're free. It's like now that I'm out, you can't touch me. So, yeah. Let's look at the first two weeks of Venus retrograde for Aquarius. Uh, August, not August, October 5th through mm, October 19th ish, give or take a day for Aquarius. First two weeks. First two weeks is going to be waiting and probably not a lot of progress or hearing from the other person regarding this this issue right here that's the first two weeks just and there's no you're not friends with this person there's really no need to communicate you, you know it's not even that you really like them or, or hate them you don't you kind of just don't care they're just a non-issue for you it just it was a bad ending and you just have no use for that person anymore Second two weeks, second two weeks, second part, middle part of the retrograde. So October 19th ish to November 3rd ish, give or take a day. And we've got breaking free from this unhealthy relationship and maybe feeling lonely, maybe feeling like you took a financial hit. I don't think this is about you feeling lonely though. I, I don't think that's a problem for you. I think this is about. And yet, I, I, okay, taking a hit financially, and yet you don't care. Honestly, the, the Aquarians that I'm reading for, it's like, yeah, okay, but I'll make that money again. I'm just glad to be free. This is over. It's okay. I, you're just, you're, yeah, I'll make the money again. It's fine. I'm just glad to be out of there. Sorry, you can't see this. But I move this up right here. Okay, so this is clarifying that, and this was clarifying that. You guys still be able to see that in the front? Oh, okay, yeah, fine. And move that up here now. And this up here now. This is going to be over here, but that's okay. All right, so the uh, last two weeks is you're going to be making... Uh, Last two weeks are showing you making future plans, um, making some a lot of decisions, and maybe having dalliance. I don't think so. I don't think this is about you hooking up with somebody or even this other person because you, there's just no, it doesn't feel like there's any emotion for this other person. It just feels like it's all business. This could be about things happening quickly. Um, so that we go from no communication and just in your separate corners, not really talking, communicating, waiting to see what happens. You've completely let go. You'll be contacted when you are, and then we'll sign this, and then we're done, blah, 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 blah. And this is about shoring that up. This is about ending the cycle as far as either paperwork or just getting all of that out of your system physically, like shoring up the property or dealing with the issue with the kids, if you have kids. But this is about breaking free of that and, and the paperwork and the process and all that, whatever's going on, the agreements that you make is all about even even further breaking free. It's just distancing you from it. Emotionally, it's like you're just not attached at all. You're good. And this is, oh shucks, I was going to say something. And I, it, it's just, it, it's, you're, you're free from this broken home. That's what it was. You are distancing yourself and you are free from this broken home. So it's twofold. On the surface, it's like literally free freedom from a broken home, but also the actions that you take regarding paperwork, discussions, this and that, legally, whatever, is going to distance you even further. It's going to feel right. You're not even worried about it. It's just, it keeps coming up that you're not worried about it. And I, I know that I'm beating a drum here and I blah, 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 but I just, I just feel nothing. I feel like this is just nothing to you. It's just... Now, air signs, though, even if they do are still in love with you, they'll cut their arm off to be able to leave. They, they will not. They will still cut you down. Even if they're still in love with you, they'll still punch you in the face. I mean, they're, you know, or worse. So maybe that's what this is. But and then here we have future plans. And for some of you, this might be passionate interludes or kind of meeting up with somebody quickly and things progressing quickly. But it's not going to be stable. But you're OK with that. You're not really worried about. 
anybody else but yourself right now. So you don't mind just a an, an in and out type of thing or a, just a, a friend with benefits. Um, it could also be that things are going to happen quickly, though, with the resolution of this. Maybe that's why. Got a guardian angel over your shoulder. <laughs> You are being watched over and you are set free. So I guess you kind of need one if you know what this person is capable of and they plan on being, um, I mean, you know, treating this as a means to an end. Maybe that's why you're not worried. It, your, your safety and sanity and getting clear of this is much more important to you. And, and it's, you're being supported with that. I just love that picture. I just, I just love that picture. <laughs> Look at that. It's so cute. This is about belonging. It's about acceptance. Assimilation. And I think this is about you finding, finally finding your fit. Cause it sure as hell wasn't with this person. This is about you being free to find your new like-minded group of people. And feeling like you have made the right decision and just that this is things are as it they should be and and you are now in sync because it's all about you and taking care of yourself and setting yourself up and I just I this the way I feel right now it feels like it's so positive but it's, as I'm looking at this and I'm like damn isn't anybody I mean this, this is kind of uh, you know but it's no you're you're okay with it you're fine Probably showing up for confirmation. I mean, all right, learning. Where's that tool one? This is part of that is discovery, like the planning. Like you might be learning new things, or the, but I think this is about you revisiting. Um, if I'm, if I may be so bold as to say, uh, parts of yourself that you might have given up or given over to this person just to make it work, like the parts of yourself you've forgotten, this and that. So you're kind of, there's a bit of rediscovery here, but you're also going to probably find out a few things that, um, well, that will just solidify the fact that this could have never gotten past a certain point. That's, that's rather trivial, but um, I do think this is also about you starting off on your own, liking it, just learning how to be alone. Not that you need to and that you're sad, just that, oh, okay, I don't have to worry about this anymore. Oh, that's cool. I can move here. And especially if there's kids involved, that's going to be an adjustment also. But it's just, it's growth. It's positive. It's going to be just fine. There's no going back. You're divinely protected. You have definitely found, set yourself free, and you're going to find, you're free now to find and create with a group of like-minded people and people you feel truly at home with. and But for some of you, I feel like that's gonna be solitary. I feel like you're just perfectly fine right now going solo because you got a lot of stuff to figure out with this new adjustment with the kids. You might be taking a financial hit, some of you, and you're, you're like, okay, I just gotta figure out my schedule now because I'm gonna be working a lot, that sort of thing. All right, so Aquarius, that is what I have for you. I hope it was helpful. I hope to see you um, in the next reading and take care. Okay. Bye.